Uh, welcome to Artificial Intelligence Hub. Today we're going to discuss about neural network uh, from scratch. So in this tutorial, uh, we're going to make a design a neural network that takes some input and uh, uh, do some operation and we will predict uh, that output. So neural network is one of the most popular algorithm in machine learning, especially in the context of uh, deep learning. Uh, and it, it's uh, the concept of neural network is inspired from how the human uh, brain works so in this lecture i'm gonna uh, design a neural network from scratch so uh, first of all we need to design two uh, variable one is uh, dependent independent variable then define uh, hyper parameters and after that uh, uh, define activation function and train the model in prediction. So first of all, uh, we gonna design variables We're gonna write a variables here. So for that uh, we need uh, two variables uh, first for uh, first is a training variable and the second one is uh, predictions uh, variable output variable output variable so for training set i'm gonna uh, write np dot array so first uh, i uh, we need to import the libraries so first of all i'm gonna write it uh, i have to import the libraries for this as import numpy as np so here I'm gonna write uh, uh, the variables uh, for that one. So I'm gonna just take some variables. So here, uh, first of all, we're gonna write the variables in this brackets. I'm gonna put it. Oh. So let me write it again. So here uh, we're gonna just take some uh, input features uh, values. Zero. One zero and the second one again we're gonna write it uh, zero 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 one whatever you want here you can write it so uh, third one I'm gonna write it here zero zero sorry one zero zero and after that the fourth one we're gonna write it here uh, one one zero um, let me correct it here so uh, after that we're going to write it uh, here uh, one 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 next one zero one one and after that so here i'm going to write it zero one and zero so in this uh, array so uh, uh, let me correct the spelling of uh, this array so the spelling is here so uh, if we're gonna check this array here let me run this one and we can see the array uh, here console here yeah you can see here so here is uh, the values of training set you can see here we have three features so three columns means we have three features and first of all i'm going to talk about uh, we have seven rows and uh, three columns seven rows means we have seven entries seven entries one two three four five six seven um uh, seven data we can say as we have a seven uh, data values and entries and each value consists of three lib uh, features so this th these are the features and these are the uh, entries or data you can say so after uh, this one we can uh, we have to these are our uh, dependent variables so we can write uh, here uh, dependent uh, independent variable in deep and variables so independent variables mean we don't uh, they are not depending on 
uh, anyone so uh, they are independent after that we're gonna write some labels across uh, this one so labels are over uh, dependent variable dependent let me correct the spelling dependent variables so for that labels here labels is equal to np dot array so in this array we're gonna write over dependent variables so for that i'm gonna write it let's pose uh, uh we are just uh, taking two values uh, labels binary zero and one so i'm gonna write one one zero zero one one zero one so these are our uh, dependent variables so when i run this one you can see uh, here are our dependent variables so you can see uh, here is one uh, row with a column one two three four this is label one label zero label zero label one label one and label uh, one so i have just correct the spelling labels and after that uh, we have to do a reshape or reshape over dependent variable so these are uh, our uh, dependent variable so we need to reshape that uh, variable so i'm gonna write again labels is equal to n labels dot re shape so for that one we know that we have uh, seven entries so that's why i'm going to reshape into the seven and one so after that you can see here when i'm going to run this one so uh, this is our new label so reshape here so you're going to see here so this time uh, we have reshaped that one so uh, before reshaping we have one row that contain a seven column and after that uh, you can see here we have a one column so here is a seven rows and a one column so now we have initialized our labels uh, and uh, uh, features uh, input and the label after that we're gonna uh, 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 set up a hyper parameter so hyper parameters so here are our hyper parameters so first of all i'm going to write np dot random so for that one so dot seed dot seed so for this one i'm gonna gonna pass 42 so this uh, and random seeds help us to get the same value upon recursive execution and after that i'm going to write something with initializing the weight here weights is equal to np dot random dot rand so i'm going to initializing the weight randomly uh, between uh, three and uh, one so biasness is equal to np dot random dot rent again so uh, by business value is one and learning rate so the learning rate uh, is the step size at each iteration which remove uh, which move toward a minimum minimizing the loss so this will help us to minimize the loss and to get the better performance of the network so after in initializing this one so here here we have step uh, three so i'm gonna write it with yeah step zero three uh, this one was this step two so i'm gonna write it here and this one was the step one step one step two and now we are in step two step two or step three so step 
three uh, we are going to make a function uh, the function name is sigmoid function for that is used at the last layers of the network to classify uh, the input so sigmoid uh, sigmoid function returns 0 0.5 uh, when the output is 0 so it uh, 0 0.5 is a threshold between uh, uh, two values so when the value when the output lesser than 0 0.5 uh, uh, lesser or equal to 0 0.5 it's made to return it returning a zero level so when it's greater than 0 0.5 to 1 it's mean it's uh, it's a positive value and it will uh, return the output it's it shows that the class uh, the uh, prediction belong to the class uh, one so for that we're gonna make a method methods here so define a function using a sigma i'm gonna make a method sigmoid and passing as a, a input here so uh, so this function will return the output so one divided by so i'm gonna write the equation of the sigmoid here one plus np dot exp here i'm gonna pass it x so this is the function for sigmoid so after that i'm gonna write a sigmoid sigmoid derivations so derivation it also take a input and after that gonna write let me write it make the spelling correct oh yeah sorry for that one uh it will return sigmoid and passing the x value that is taken from here and multiplying multiply with one minus sigmoid passing the x again here and the equation is ending so here we have uh, define a function sigmoid and its uh, derivative so far so this was uh, the third uh, step so after third step and the fourth one is to training a neural network so here we're gonna train uh, our neural network after making this one so i'm gonna write the code for training a neural uh, network uh, in this scenario so here we can write uh, the fourth step is training a training or model so far i write an equation epoch in range so i'm gonna define the range so the range is uh, where we can define it uh, 5000 uh, that is i think fine so far so input is equal to so what are the input for this model input is equal to training set and here and p dot dot input and weights so weights we have defined it before weights plus uh, so we are taking input and uh, multiplying with weights and got dot is equal to bias and adding bias biasness if bias so we have defined this one yeah so it will give us uh, the value it's take and uh, it take the input and the weights and adding some biasness uh, value in that so here is the third one z is equal to sigmoid so sigmoid is taking uh, over xw so after that so error error is equal to 
z minus labels labels means actual marrier so the error is uh, so sigmoid is using here to predict our output so error means uh, the actual labels and the predicted labels that mean is the predicted label so uh, we go, we're gonna print it here later so let me write it the whole code here so cost function is equal to I'm gonna define the cost function is equal to error so that's why I'm gonna de uh, define sigmoid derivation so uh, weights update so we will update that error to using a back propagation concept here So I'm gonna write D predict so here sigmoid sigmoid so it's taking now Z value for upgrading uh, here so Z is equal to D cost multiply by so now the Z is equal to D cost multiply by D predict here so uh, these are the D cost determining the cost and de uh, determining predictions uh, predictions uh, using the back propagation and after that so here we have a new uh, value for a predicted uh, value uh, so um, for that again take the transpose of input is equal to uh, for that one uh, so here we have the previous input and now we have new input so here I'm gonna write it here input is equal to training set training set dot take transpose so we are taking the transpose and after that weights are we have a new weights so this time we're gonna make a, we have new weights I'm gonna write it the weights is equal to weights weights and uh, minus uh, learning rate learning rate and here's a formula let me complete this one np dot and uh, input inputs z so far for now and we're gonna write it here for number in z del so here biasness value is equal to this is equal to b i a s biasness minus l r multiply by num so here is the whole training process of the model and now the input inputs is equal to training set so let me write it here so it it is completed so far so I'm gonna run it so I've got some values here so let we will uh, make it correct so what is said dot by business and uh, for here so here are learning rate in the float value here are weights value you can see here we have a weights value and everything else so let me so the problem was there uh, you can see here i take the input so input is also a built-in function so we so we have to put s here so let me check it again yes you can see here so it is working correctly till now so far so here are the uh, weights again uh, here is the z 
value we have defined here three sigmoid uh, function z a a new pre, uh, school, uh, z a determination value of here and uh, so far this is a training process and after that uh, um, we're gonna write feed forwards and determining the slope and training the model uh, further step so after that we need to define three uh, things here first of all feed for word and second one is uh, error and the third one is uh, deter mining slope mining the slope so here i'm gonna just write the code here w as it is equal to uh, n p dot dot and here are the input i'm gonna write it input and the weights in puts and the weights w e i g h t weights here and plus adding the biasness so for biasness so here in the second one z is equal to a sigmoid function so sigmoid is uh, will take that uh, value so after that one so let me check weights so here is uh, make sure I'm gonna correct the spelling here weights so here is the error function I'm gonna dis define the error uh, function here so error r is z minus labels so we already defined that one so we need to write it here for saving the value and and it will minus labels so the third one is determining the slope so for that one slope uh, is equal to input and uh, multiply by determining the cost and d prediction so slope will be oh let me die slope is equal to inputs multiply by d cost multiply by d prediction so d cost is equal to will be error rate we have to define what are the d cost d cost is error rate d cost and and we can say uh, we have already defined these values in our uh, here you can if you can see here uh, this is uh, this is the feed forward and here are error rate and uh, uh, after uh, here here are the error rate so we will check it error rate by sum up uh, the things here uh, here so uh, here also the d cost is equal to error so these are the steps i'm just writing here uh, for mm, uh, f for learning uh, purpose uh, for understanding the more 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 uh, better way so for writing more i'm just gonna copy these steps here so far here so uh, slope value is slope is equal to uh, here is the uh, you can see i'm gonna write it this slope value is equal to slope and after that i'm just writing in here d error so here let me write it here so here you can see d values and d prediction is equal to sigma h sigma h will taking a uh, z value is taking a z value d z cost is equal to d cost multiplied by this one input value and after that 
it is over weights and after that uh, we're so for so this is just for the sake of under for so far I'm gonna commit these all values and I just want to predict here so I'm gonna write print error is equal to uh, error dot sum so you can see here so you can see here is uh, the error value sum up error value so you can see here we got uh, sum up with error values so after that so here is the model and it's learning up to um, it how much number of watches I'm gonna also write it so far it is very easy to understand print a pause also so so let's see you can see here so here are the pods and here is the learning uh, rate you can see uh, here so if let's suppose I'm gonna run it up to 10 epochs epochs so you can see here here is the values for uh, zero epochs so loss was here and it's trying to dec uh, from minus 2 to minus 2 it's trying to change here so after that I'm gonna uh, do some predictions here the four of the five steps so here here is over four step so after that so here is over fifth step so what will be the fifth step I'm gonna write it the fifth step is to uh, predict the outcome so predict the predicting the output come so we just take single prediction value single prediction prediction value is equal to np dot array so I'm just gonna pass some random values in this array so 1 0 and 1 so I'm, we're just going to just gonna take a single value here so for that uh, the result will be is equal to sigmoid np dot array so here we're gonna pass uh, this value in that particular uh, sigmoid so I'm gonna just pass it here oh let me correct this one so sigmoid dot so just we are taking the dot values here so in dot pass sig single prediction and uh, weights initializing the weights plus bias so print the result here result result so let me see yep so let me run this one so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna remove this one here not yeah that is okay not needed to him so here is the predictions value uh, for uh, given uh, output so again I'm gonna just take another value for predictions here and so this time I'm gonna write it 0 1 and something like that and uh, make it come in this one and if we run this one you can see that prediction values is this one so 
this is uh, the code uh, using a uh, numpy library to make a neural network model so far thank you so much for watching this tutorial